Hello everybody, welcome to the United Stand. This is your latest Manchester United transfer news update at lunchtime. I'm wearing my glasses and Bruno Fernandes is 1-20 to 20 on with the bookies, which means absolutely nothing. Do not take any notice of betting odds. I mean, it's an indicator, I suppose. I've just actually gone back and said that you should take notice. But realistically, it's just a bit of fun. I wouldn't put anything on that. But two big updates for you today. Uh, first of all, um, we'll talk about Bruno, but I also want to talk about Marcus Lorente who, is, Lorente, who is at Atletico Madrid. He moved from Real Madrid to Atletico Madrid in the summer. United may be looking to bring him on loan, which fits in with a bit of information that I got uh, two nights ago uh, in relation to what United are obviously briefing about loan moves. We'll talk about that, but let's talk about Bruno Fernandes first of all. So where are we at with that? George Mendes has completed the deal of Jetson Fernandes on loan to Spurs. He is now expected to be working on the Bruno Fernandes deal with Bruno Fernandes agent um, and is reportedly in London doing just that. So we may get some movement. However, um, Bruno Fernandes could well train with Sporting Lisbon today. Apparently he's on standby to be ready to fly to Manchester at any point. But we are fast approaching that deadline I mentioned on the show last night whereby midday on Friday is the last time he can sign if he wants to play against Liverpool and also Benfica playing Sporting Lisbon on Friday night. Will he play in that? We're in that area now and I think between now and Friday lunchtime we need some movement. We do need some movement. Um, it doesn't mean the deal won't be done. Reports in Portugal are saying that Manchester United are quite relaxed about when this deal will be done. Um, I don't see how we can be relaxed. We've got a massive game on Sunday. We've got no midfield. We've got an opportunity to you know, still get into a race for top four. And how great would it be if we were the team that beat Liverpool at Anfield? And Bruno Fernandes would give us a massive chance of doing that. Not, you know, I'm not saying we are going to do that, but it would definitely enhance our chances. And I think some United fans aren't grasping that, that with him, we're far better than without him. And I think the club needs to respect that as well. With him, we're far better than we are without him. And I know he's got to adapt, but we haven't got a player like that. So... I hope we can get something done in the next couple of days and maybe Sporting Lisbon are dragging, dragging their feet because they want him to play uh, for, against Benfica but maybe maybe Manchester United and, and Bruno Fernandes could do something about that. I mean, my big fear is I want him to play against Liverpool, of course I do, but you sign him on Monday, Monday plays against Burnley but I also don't want him to play against Benfica in one of the biggest games of their you know season. Um, and get injured. And maybe maybe there's a bit of romanticism from Bruno Fernandes. He wants his final game for Sporting to be against Benfica. But I, I just think the risk element... I mean, you know, what if he goes and does his knee or something like that? And we're all sat there going, oh, my God. Oh, my God. We, we, we could have got him and now he's injured. So, look, I, I hope something's going to happen in the next couple of days with this deal because I think the risk factor have been playing against Benfica. I mean, to be honest with you, if he's not going to play against Liverpool, fine. I would like him to play, but if he's not going to play against Liverpool, fine. But I don't want him to play for Sporting. So even if it's going to take till after the Liverpool games to get the deal done, I don't want him to play um, against Benfica for Sporting. I think it's a really, really big, big risk. So we'll have to wait and see what happens with that one. But the big one I wanted to talk to you about was Marcus Lorente. This is interesting because I was speaking to Phil Brown, who does Beyond the Pitch um, uh, podcast, uh, which you can listen to. Um, I don't know whether he mentioned this on this because I'm only halfway through it. But um, he said to me, about the Pochettino news, about Manchester United in the talks with Pochettino. What he also, I asked him about Bruno Fernandes to see if he'd heard anything. And he said that he, ex, he think, it looks like the Bruno Fernandes deal will be done because it looks like United are interested. But the noise coming out of Manchester United Football Club is that they're only interested in loans in January. Now, I was like, all right, OK, thanks, Phil. Not going to really talk about that bit of information. We'll talk about Poch, but I don't like that one. I'm not going to talk about it because I've not heard about it anywhere else. Manchester Evening News today comes out with Manchester United are looking to do a loan deal in January and a player that they're interested in is Marcus Lorente. So that's from two separate people there. Now, I know people don't rate Manchester Evening News. Um, I understand why that is. I think people get very elitist about transfer news. The reality is, um, if you look through your life in relation to transfer news, um, if you can get somebody who's even 60% accurate, they're a good source. And Manchester Evening News does regurgitate a lot of news but they also definitely do get information from Manchester United I know that for a fact that Manchester United have an in link with Manchester Evening News um, Samuel Lucas specifically does get information from the club and you can like that or not he doesn't like fan channels so why would I say that that's the case but he definitely does so when Manchester Evening News are talking about United wanting to do loan deals 
And then I've heard it from Phil, who I know I know also gets information from Manchester United as well. There's definitely information coming from Manchester United that they're looking to do loan deals in January. So, I mean, look, does it mean we're not going to sign Bruno Fernandes? Should we get worried about that? I wouldn't at this point. I think it's very obvious that we're in for Bruno and we won't be getting him on loan. But it looks like we're looking for another deal. And in relation to Marcus Llorente, he would be a good signing for United. There's an element of risk, but there isn't really an element of risk with a loan deal. He moved from Real Madrid to Atletico Madrid in the summer. He's 24, I think, six foot. Uh, as a player, what would he bring to Manchester United? Well, look, he's got to adapt to the Premier League. But to be honest with you, people talk about him as the heir to the Busquets role. And that's but he's a CDM, basically. He's a centre defensive midfielder. Uh, he, he like he's very quick at closing down. He's very good at reading the game, and he's good at playing long passes. So he, he ticks all the boxes of what Manchester United would want in a centre defensive midfielder. And as a loan deal, it's really good. And a quality of player like that, he's hardly played for Atletico Madrid this season. So I think that will turn some people off. But I said this a couple of weeks ago. United doing loan deals in January, I just don't see how you do that. In the modern game, I just don't see how you do it. It's very hard for a club the size of Manchester United to get decent players in on loan. So to get a player like this, yes, there's an element of risk, but I would I would be very happy with this. And also, if he does well, maybe we would sign him if he adapts to the Premier League. So we were sort of tentatively linked to him before he went from Real Madrid to Atletico Madrid and a few other Premier League clubs were. So if we could do this deal, I think it would be... Brilliant. It would be, to be honest, it would, it would be another tick in the box for me because I was only talking about this last night, wasn't I? Who, who are we going to look for as a CDM long term? Well, taking a CDM from Spain and bringing him into the Premier League isn't necessarily easy to do, although Man City actually did do it. They took Atletico Madrid's Rodri and they've got him doing it in the Premier League. And actually, uh, Lorente was seen as the heir to Rodri, uh, very similar types of players. So, I, I would be all for this. I really do hope that there is something in it because I think if you can get the right sort of player in on loan and he is around that sort of age that we want, or I, I certainly think we need a few of these sort of 25-year-olds who've got experience. He only left Real Madrid because they had an abundance of players in there and he couldn't break into the team. Atletico Madrid, it's not quite worked out. They've got some decent players in them positions as well when you think about Partey and Neguez and others. So I think this would be a, a good a good deal if we can get it over the line. But I would say this, and that's that's the point why I've done this video at lunchtime as well. Yes, there's the Bruno Fernandes update, but more importantly, there is this news coming out of Manchester United, and I think we can take it as gospel now, that United are leaking out there that they're looking for loans in January. So that is something to take into the last couple of weeks of this transfer window. Obviously, we're focused on getting that Bruno Fernandes deal do, done. But United are leaking out that they're looking to do loan deals in January, which are very, very difficult to do. But I think this Marcus Lorente thing has got potential, and I'd be very excited about it. I'd be very. I think we all want to make signings. We all want them to be holding the shirt up as Manchester United players. But this type of a player, if you know, and if, and if he did well, does he have to go back to Atletico Madrid? Could we actually sign him? It's interesting, and I, I, I really am. I'm not gonna get overexcited about it because you know it's only Manchester Evening News talking about that specific player, but I, I think he would fit with this loan thing. And as I say, Manchester United looking to do loan deals in January. What are your thoughts on that? And, and what sort of player can we get? Because when I, I've got to be honest with you, when Phil said it to me on Monday, I was like, hmm, how are we going to do loan deals? Like who's available to do loan deals? How does that even work? But then with Manchester Evening News mentioning it today, obviously there's validity in that story coming out of the club and there's a very viable option that would work really really well for us anyway we are live tonight it's manchester united versus wolves fa cup replay uh, we will be live at around seven o'clock with the team news all the way through watch along match reaction fan cams back to business back to football tonight but obviously if anything happens in between then we will speak to you but if not i will see you live at seven o'clock smash a like on the video subscribe if you're new and uh, remember you can get all your latest manchester united transfer news on the united stand what are your thoughts about loans 